Hey, hey developers, so today we are looking at some of the best GitHub repositories to help front end developers. So these are all absolutely free resources. They're really cool. We're going to take a look at them. Actually, we're going to look at some of the stuff that I've created and a lot of things that other people have created. These are GitHub repositories that I often check. Also, I'd love to hear from you guys what resources, free resources to you guys use. Leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Let me know. And that way I can, uh, you know, next time I make a list like this, I'll include your resource as well. Hey, and if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you smash that like button and go ahead and click that thumbs up. I do, uh, my name is Eric. I do tons of these videos on this, these type of videos on Vue.js on resources for web development contests. We, I just do a ton of things. So if you guys like these type of videos, you know, make sure you subscribe and yeah, let me know. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin and I will make sure I put all the links to these in the description below. And also if you're interested in learning even more, I'll put a link you can get my free cheat sheet that will have a free cheat sheet for Vue.js. I'll leave that in the link in the description below too. All right, so here is the first repository I wanted to talk about. And this is called the Amazing Developers on YouTube. So these are, this is a repository I created and I've gotten so many uh, helpful people inviting me, uh, actually adding in pull requests. I'm actually a little bit behind on the pull requests. I have 10 open right now, but I have basically uh, 500 English channels. I think there's probably over a thousand YouTube channels on here in 13 different languages. And it's just tons of information. So if you're looking to learn, I don't know, web development, uh, you just click on here, tutorials. I have all these different YouTube channels that you can check out. Obviously mine's at the top because it's one of the best. We got Free Code Camp, uh, Traversy Media. I mean, just tons of great resources in here. You can check them all out. But if you actually like people who are just giving great commentary and giving you like developer advice, I have a whole informational section which you can fill out or which you can check out, I should say. And then also we have live coding channels, game development channels, software entertainment, com competitive programming, and then some channels that are up and coming that they're a little bit smaller, but they're getting a lot of momentum every day. And if you, uh, and then also channels that aren't a lot around anymore, but you can still get some great information out of them. And of course we have Russian, Hindi, just tons of different languages. Yeah, check this out. The next one I wanna talk about is the web developer roadmap. Now this is a repository. I've noticed it's been updated a few times, but you may actually see this sometimes. It gets on the top of Reddit or Hacker News because this is like the quote unquote roadmap you should take for a web developer. I don't know, it's not perfect, but it has a lot of great information into it. in it. You can see here like choose your path, front end, back end, DevOps, and it kind of gives you some of what you should expect. Like here's the front end, like what you should know if you are doing this and I'll make it a little bigger. Like here's the internet. What is the internet? How does the internet work? What is HTTP, DNS, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, version control systems like GitHub, GitLab, uh, like Git, SVN, and then like different services, NPM and Yarn, CSS architecture. Like it's really, if you are brand new to web development, just going through the roadmap and trying to understand what these different tools is in, is kind of important. Obviously you can't know everything, so don't get discouraged by looking at this. But you know, it's something that I, I like to look over every now and then. Pick a framework, hey, Vue.js, React. Um, I like how React is in yellow and Angular and Vue are not as highlighted, almost like they're not as you know good. But hey, you know, Vue's just as good as React, trust me, and Angular too. Web components, yeah, look, it even talks about CSS frameworks and testing libraries like Jest and Cypress and Enzyme, React Strap, um, Material UI, Chakra, Bootstrap. Talks about progressive web apps, server-side rendering. It looks like this is very React focused in some ways. I don't know. Oh, if you click on it, you could uh, get, get a bigger picture of it. So yeah, this is kind of a neat uh, way of, of looking at uh, web development. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So another one, another repository. A lot of people like this free code camp repository where free code camp in general is a 503C nonprofit or 501C nonprofit in the United States. And so they have certifications, learning platforms. And if you go to their GitHub, you can kind of get the idea of everything that they offer. You can also go to their website, but if you click on it, it kind of redirects you to the website. And this is some of the lessons. I really like this one. This is called Awesome. So this is this is the like the granddaddy of all the awesome type of GitHub 
repositories out there. So this is like the one that links to all the other awesome ones. So you could pretty much get anything you ever wanted. So like if you were looking up view, here's view, you click on it and this will bring you to the awesome view resource. And this just essentially has links to a lot of free resources. So if I was learning, learning view, I might check this out. Hey, look books. Here's a ton of different books. I believe mine's right here. Yep, my Vue.js in action right near the top. It's a really great book. But you can see, wow, like since then a ton of books have come out, which is really cool. But yeah, you can, this is just a, a, a ton of different resources on different frameworks, and then it links to different repositories. So check that out. Another really good one is this one. It's called the Spellbook of Modern Web Dev. So it's like a, a thesaurus and taxonomy of modern jo JavaScript. So this document originated from a bunch of mostly common use links and learning resources. When I'm doing this document, I was trying to provide the complete view angle of modern web app or, age, app or page development ruled by JavaScript reflect, reflective of technological advances. So it's like, it's kind of a thesaurus to figure out exactly what everything is, but you could see here, like, what is the open web platform? What's HTML5? What's the modern JavaScript? Node.js. So it's all in here. Uh, a lot of cool things. If you're trying to learn like server side networking, you can say, well, click here for his network. Here's an overview of what HTTP is, kind of giving you definitions of these, of these terms that you may never have heard of. It's very helpful. Now let's take a look at Florin. Actually, I know Florin is a great guy. He has a huge Twitter following. He also has a YouTube channel, but he created this really cool uh, app ideas collection where he just created like uh, a bunch of different apps that you might be interested in creating. So this is one of the hardest things as a web developer, especially when you're first learning, like what should I create? And everybody thinks of, well, everybody creates the same old app. Everybody creates the to-do list, but look, there's so many other beginner projects you can create. You can create a calculator, a color cycle, a database app, flip images, GitHub statuses, notes app. But maybe you want something more difficult, calculator CLI, drawing apps, GitHub profiles, meme generators, or maybe an advanced project like creating a calendar, an Instagram clone. You also notice that when you get to these advanced courses, a lot of clones, everybody's making Zoom clones, Instagram clones, Twitter clones. Those are really good, more advanced projects. So it's really cool. Uh, this is really well done. I like how he put this all together. It has 27 million stars on it. Uh, 27,000 stars, so that's really cool. It's a good repository to check out. Uh, here's another one, awesome stock resources. So, you know, one thing I'm always looking for is like, cool, I wanna grab some SVG graphics. Like, where can I grit, Where can I grab it? I think a lot of people think of Unsplash, but there's so many others out there. So you could just be like, hey, how do I want, I wanna grab some uh, illustrations. Cool, so here's Biodiversity Heritage Library, British Library, old book illustrations, Undra. If you ever seen, um, here, if you go to Undra, I like this. This is like this new style, you see this everywhere, these like faceless images. This is like a new style, but a lot of people just download this from Undra. Uh, but there's like 10 other sites just like Undra out there, I, I was noticing. Anyways, this is a really cool place, you can grab some free things. Uh, free resources to download images and stuff from. Another great one is the front end performance checklist. So I don't know if you've ever been in an environment where you need to have your website fast. And so this gives you some ideas of how to uh, do some page tests. Here's some page tests, like obviously Google Page Speed Insights is one thing that everybody uses. Also built in Lighthouse testing, testing is another one, but there's just a ton of different places you can go to just do some testing and this has links to all of them. Here's an, an interesting one, it's called Go Abstract. So it's awesome design tools as part of the Flawless Apps family join Abstract. Basically it's a awesome design tool section. It has a list of different design tools, different things you might use on different platforms like color picker, color picker tools, accessibility tools, like A Checker, Andy, Axe, Colorbox, Color. So if you wanted to check to see if your site is accessible, you might also look at some different uh, animation tools, augmented reality, collaboration tools. So a lot of really neat resources all linked in this one repository here. And finally, I'll give a shout out. Uh, I was inspired a little bit by this repository, this best GitHub repositories. It was number one on dev.2 a few weeks ago. And uh, you know, I thought maybe I would add a few of those to my resources. And actually I have added quite a few that weren't on this list, but I'll give that guy a shout out Jat and Jaten Rao, and I'll include a link to that in the description below. 
Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know you guys like me doing these lists of different repositories and cool resources. I will be doing some more later this week, some, some more view uh, tutorials. If you guys like those, leave a comment below as well. I appreciate it. Thanks, take care.